Is it a bird? Is it a plane? It's a man in a jetpack flying around the Statue of Liberty. It was awesome. It was a dream, dream come true, and I, w I was just having a blast. Though the actual blast off from a boat was fairly gentle. The founder of Jetpack Aviation, David Maiman, is the test pilot, and yes, he and his chief designer had to get all kinds of approvals to pull this off. And the FAA asked, what is it? What is it? A jet pet? What is that? The flight lasted about five minutes. The pilot uses hand controls and his body to steer, though Maiman took one hand off the controls for a second. I saluted uh, Lady Liberty, and on one of the passes, I stopped and turned around and and, and gave her a salute. Maiman has been hooked on jetpacks ever since he first saw James Bond take off in one in Thunderball. For 10 years, Maiman and designer Nelson Tyler have worked together. Tyler helped design the rocket belt that sent up a man for less than 30 seconds at the 1984 Olympics. For the Statue of Liberty flight, the designer told his pilot, Fly slow and careful and uh, not too high. Yeah, I didn't hear that message, I don't think. Next thing you know, he was 100 feet up doing 65 miles an hour. Maiman says he can imagine eventually selling a jetpack for the price of a super luxury car, somewhere in the ballpark of $100,000. There are other devices that transform men into flying machines. Some are big and bulky. Others, like these jet wings, require takeoff from a chopper and landing via parachute. But Maiman wants a jetpack like the one 007 wore. No well-dressed man should be without one. Yes, very practical. No well-dressed man should be without one, especially when taking liberties with a certain well-dressed lady. Genimo, CNN, New York.